What is up guys? Welcome back to Mad DIY. It's your boy Dave. Today we're going to do our first 3D print on the SoundForge 3D printer. It's ready to go. I got it powered up, got everything ran. So pretty much it came out the box and I had to feed the uh, tube through. Filament is back here and you feed this tube through there. Your filament goes through the tube. You line everything up in there. You push this little spring loaded back down there so you can feed the filament through and then you just kind of flush this in there. Really simple. Sorry for the squeaky noise in the background. My dog's got her little squeaky toy. I love the neon lights in the inside there. Beautiful part about it it's all touch screen unlike the uh other 3d printer i have the mono price you got to use that little scrolling thing that's never accurate i still got that video coming up things that i dislike about the mono price select mini but i'm super excited to see what this guy is capable of doing i mean look how cool that looks guys so i'm gonna go ahead and get started here i'm still reading through the manual as you see i'm on page 14 i only got two more to go and then i think i can get my first print out so I know I'm gonna need drive here. Gotta figure out where this guy plugs in. Gonna get my first image placed on there. And I'm also gonna be using white filament. Very first time using white filament. So it's gonna be interesting. And I'm also gonna do a comparison between this guy and, sorry for the mess over there, my other model price select mini. And that's the one I'm just kind of using for parts and pieces. But I think this one here, what would happen is in the middle of a print, it would actually just shut off. I did some research. They said it could be something bad on the circuit board, but I think I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Hopefully it's just a bad power supply. Anyway, let's see what this guy can do. Hey, there I am. So let's see what happens here. It says to change the language. We just simply hit tools, settings. It's already on English, so we're good to go there. So we definitely want English. Let's back out of there, back out of there. I'm liking this touch screen. So I guess one of the first things we have to do is start to leveling build the platform. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the uh, tools again and hit level. So please wait while the extruder and platform finish initial movements. Fair and find the distance between the nozzle and the plate. Wait, all right. Calibration is complete. Go ahead and hit finish. So it gives you extruder temperature right there. And right now we're at 27 degrees Celsius. Have your X, Y, and Z over there to the right. A little temperature gauge there, logo across the top. So let's see what's next. So we're gonna go ahead and back out of here and heat up the filament. I'm gonna tap filament. We're gonna hit the load button. It says I'm heating up. I'm at 12%, 28 degrees, 29 degrees. We're not gonna keep doing this. We're going all the way to 220 degrees Celsius. Heats up really quick. That's really nice. A lot faster. I can hear the fan kicking in as well. I'm excited. So excited. So it looks like it's pretty much heated up. It says low begins to push the filament vertically into the extruder and press done when you see filament come out of the extruder. All right, guys, I finally figured it out. Goes through here. You got to pull this back up and kind of feed your filament through. Pop the tube back on. And it's going to keep leaking there. So we got to hit the done button to stop it. So we're going to hit done. Looks like it stopped there. So let's go to the next. Pop this guy in there. This is 16 gigabyte, by the way, the one that comes with it. Simply pop it in there on the side there. Get out of here and we want to go to build. And I guess that's if we're on a PC, but we're on the flash drive right there. So we're going to go ahead and select that guy. And we're going to look for the test file. Oh, there's the box there. Let's go ahead and do this death test. The super cool thing is, is it actually gives you a little demonstration of what it's going to do. So let's go for that little bolt there. And we want to go ahead and hit build. It's warming up. Oh, how nice is that? It tells you how long it's going to take. The other printers that I dealt with, it doesn't tell you that. It just prints. So if it's a 16 hour print, you will find out after 16 hours and it is going to tell you how long it took. This one here, at least tells tells me ahead of time. How cool is that? So you see the extruders heating back up to the 220 degrees. It's at 91 degrees. It flies through the heat up process. The board is pulling up there slowly. And I think it's waiting to hit that 220 mark. And also one hour, 11 minutes, we're gonna have that PG-10 little bolt there. Also something else that I read when I was just looking through it, that blue light that's back there, you can actually change that. You can actually have it strobe. It can change to red and some other colors. And you can have it strobe. I think this printer, I mean, I haven't even tried it yet, but so far, I mean, this this here of course for me is the bentley of 3d printers compared to the ones that i had so i'm so excited about this also with this i didn't put any of the like painters tape down or anything like that i don't think it's needed we'll find out here shortly I mean, besides the fan noise also in the background, the printer is fairly quiet as far as the actual print. You don't hear too much going on, not a lot of vibrations or anything like that. So that's really cool. I think it's gonna lead to a, a lot better print and everything looks really, really smooth there. So we'll go ahead and we'll fast forward through this. Something else I wanted to make a note of. Yeah, I know I have the little stringy piece there from the pre-start that probably when I pull it on the filament, but it almost looks as if it's painting it on there versus how the model price did everything and kind of like layered form where this one it's kind of going over it's already it's almost like it's still heated I guess I should say and you're kind of like blending the paints around so that's a nice observation that I'm making there
right guys, there it is, it's done. One hour and 18 minutes. I think it's a few minutes extra from what it actually said, but wow, that's amazing. Look at the details on there. You can't get that with the model price select mini. That's actually super nice. Let's go ahead and get this baby off of there. Okay, I pulled it off of there. It actually came off super easy. Even a little emblem that's right there. Got the little hole at the top there. I gotta admit, that's great. That turned out wonderful. I like it a lot. This is an amazing printer. That's my first print from the uh, Flash Forge Finder. Excellent product. I mean, look at the details on there. Everything came out smooth. It printed really quick. This is definitely worth the investment and a huge step up. Of course, the other printer, once again, is a great starter printer just for kind of learning the ropes there, but this was super easy. Now I kind of understand why some of the folks in the comments were like, oh, it's just a mono price select mania. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, someone else is probably saying, oh, it's just a Flash Forge. It doesn't matter. You got to start somewhere. So start somewhere. It's always going to be somebody who has something bigger and better than yours. You don't have to, you know, the grass can be greener on the other side. Who cares? Enjoy yours. This is a really nice. This is a wonderful product. I'm very pleased with it. I'd give it 30 thumbs up if I had enough hands. Maybe you guys can go ahead and hit that like button and thumb it up for me as well. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. It's your boy Dave signing out. Mad DIY. Peace.